Hey everybody, Iron Toast here. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to talk about the new and improved Old Man Logan. Alright, so the Old Man Logan character. Let's take a peek here. So, at his statistics here. There we go. Mine's a rank 3. Um, as far as synergies are concerned, he has two new ones, right? He has the enhanced ad ad adamantium. Uh, it helps out Modoc, really. Um, I guess a little bit X23, but it actually it gives Old Man Logan a pretty decent bo boost. If you're going to bring along one of the new synergies, the first one is probably it. Um, he gets 10% attack rating, uh, and if you have Mysterio, you can get extra regeneration and some quick passive bleeds off the start. I, the quick passive bleeds don't really make much difference. Uh, the regeneration. I don't know, he regenerates a lot anyway. I don't know that that's totally necessary, but if you have him, why not? Um, and then he has some of his older ones too. Hulk is probably the best with that increased attack. As far as his abilities, now his new duplicated ability, his awakened ability is that um, he has a chance to make his passive bleeds last uh, 20 seconds instead of five, which is nice. And his first special attack of every fight um, gives you a nice attack rating. So depending on what fight you're in, if it's a longer one, um, I would say try and hit an, a special 2 for those critical bleeds. Um, as far as abilities, he does gain regeneration every 20 seconds. Um, it is 1,474 health, which is about 10%, which is cool. Um, and then while he's regenerating, he takes far less bleed damage, which is good. Um, you cannot increase or decrease his ability accuracy. Now, you can change the potency, just not the accuracy of it fighting. I'm a little weaker against tech champs, um, but actually you'll see it's it's not too bad. Um, it talks about getting passive bleeds. Passive bleeds don't deal damage to you. You can get up to 15 of them. That's what you convert into furies now. Uh, your heavy attacks, which I don't find to be very helpful, it will uh, refresh the duration of his passive bleeds and pause his fury. I don't find that too effective. I try to throw heavy ends every once in a while just because it seems like it should help. Um, it doesn't seem to, to be honest that much. Uh, when you do fire a special attack, you take all those passive bleeds and convert them into furies. If you have 10 of them, it's about double your attack. If you have 15, it's about um, two and a half times your attack, which is which is a pretty sweet little boost. Um, special one is actually pretty decent. It throws an armor break debuff, uh, and you can stack them. So you can do if you can fire off multiple SP ones. If you got some sort of power gain going, um, it. it it really does some pretty decent damage and it's actually really good against tech champions believe it or not since that's usually his uh natural disadvantage special two is probably the one you're going to want to try and use uh, um, probably often in in any of the shorter fights which you'll probably be using him for you can get a chance at using a critical bleed especially if you fire this off first um if he's awakened you can get a really nice critical bleed especially if you get two out of the three or three out of three um, and his special three, um, you know, his special three, um, it, in, it inflicts these deep bleeds, which last 35 seconds. It doesn't really output a lot of damage. I mean, you certainly wouldn't want to use it against anybody that's bleed immune. Um, you can get two of them if you have more, if you have those passive furies up. But I don't know. I mean, the special three, in my opinion, didn't really crank up the damage that long. And in the fights that you're going to be using Old Man Logan for, um, the shorter fights... I don't know i didn't find it very useful maybe in a longer fight but in a longer fight there's so many better options probably just skip this all right so let's take old man logan through some questing here i have i still have some uncollected left to do so we're gonna do for the symbiote supreme path here um which path should we do what do we have left here i think there's one at the top yeah i think i remember wanting to do this one okay ragnarok and enhanced fury so yeah, let's go that path. That seems like there's nothing too threatening there. Um, I think where Old Man Logan kind of shines now is in questing, really. I mean, he's got sustainability with his regeneration, and he can he can output a lot more damage than he used to, um, with w both with the Furies and the Bleeds, to be honest. All right, so Red Hulk. Let's take him down. Um, first thing we're going to look at is the special one. Let's do some parry bashing here, or intercepting. There we go. Uh, so you can see that I started out with a regeneration, which is nice, keeps me topped off. And uh, I've got those passive bleeds. It happens anytime I basically make contact, whether you're getting hit or hitting. Um, I had 10 there, and I threw my special ones, and I have 10 furies. And you can see the damage actually ramps up pretty decent. Um, some nice critical hits there. 
I can throw my heavy attack to uh, refresh some of the passive bleeds and pause the fury. I'm gonna reel off another nice little special one there. Try to pause the fury some more. So this is this example of a fight is kind of a straight beatdown, right? You throw your special one over and over, you get those armor breaks, you can deal more damage, um, and so there you go. It's it's really not too bad um, for shorter fights. You know, this is not the type of character that you would want to take to Realm of Legends, and certainly not Labyrinth of Legends. Nobody would rank him up for that. Um, so let's check out uh, Moon Knight. Moon Knight here, we have the class advantage. Um, and what is it now? Power downtime? As far as the moon phase? Yeah, reduction in power. So, <laughs> of course I choose this one. Um, yeah, we'll still try and get to a special 3 and see what we can do. Special 3, now the special 3 is, it, now what it does is it will, will inflict, it has a 100% chance to inflict deep wounds or deep cuts or whatever it is. Um, so it's a 35 second bleed. And while they're bleeding you get more critical rate uh, or critical chance and critical damage, something like that. So, which if you can manage to pull off a special 3 and then get your power up fast enough to reel off a special 2, you can actually do some pretty decent Critical bleeds, if you get critical bleeds. If you get the, uh, the RNG grants you some critical bleeds there. Alright, so we're getting close. It'd be nice if we had 15 bleeds going. Yep, we do. Alright, so special 3. Same animation, nothing different here. There we go. And so you can see there, there's two deep bleeds that are taking a really, really long time to wind down. Um, they are not very potent, so together they're doing 112 per tick, and I, I can't tell if it's two ticks or three ticks per second. It's not, it's not that high. Uh, but as you can see, he deals enough damage with his with his ongoing fury that um, he didn't have much time to bleed after the special three. I had 15 furies, and he was just laying on the laying on the sauce there. Alright, so here is a tech fight. Uh, the one downside that Logan has when he's fighting tech now is that he has critical resistance lowered. Um, if you're not getting hit that much, it's no big deal. Um, one cool thing that they did with Old Man Logan is that uh, his special one does an armor break. And that's kind of counter meta, if you think about it, because a lot of tech champions have armor ups. And now Old Man Logan can armor break. So it's always nice to see um, some sort of advantage working the other way. You know, generally, they build in a lot of advantages for um, fighting against the class that you have an advantage over naturally. But they don't usually build in a lot of advantage for the, the disadvantaged classes like tech. So throwing in these armor breaks here, I mean, that was a nice little SP1. Getting some sweet crits in there. I mean, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, does well against um, skills, right? He can inflict a lot of damage. And even if they purify the bleeds, they take more damage. I mean, he does it well against tech because tech can, uh, you can do armor break, which is kind of cool. So, I'm not going to bore you with this fight. Uh, let's move on to, actually, let's, let's see if we can try and get some critical bleeds here, actually. So, we're going to try and go all the way to SP3 and then try and get some SP2. Punch him around here a little bit, and take a kick to the just take a kick to the face. That's not good. Oh, we gotta bait out his special here. Luckily, it's fairly easy to dodge. Um, you know what? Let's actually yeah, let's do the special three first. No, we'll do two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we did a, we did get a critical bleed on that special too, but he died in the middle of it, so we didn't get to see what it what it takes away. Let's try to get on Doctor Octopus here. Um, we'll try and get some special two, and uh, see how much the critical bleeds deal. Hopefully, pretty good. Um, so we do have, you know, even though we're we're fighting a tech, it'd be nice to use that armor break here. Um, I'm not gonna bother with it. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the special two for real this time. Punch him around here. Try and bait this special. There we go. This special one is easier to dodge than this special two. They're both easy, but one is easier. Let's see. So we got one critical bleed. Oh, okay. So the regular bleeds are dealing 240 per tick there, and the critical one's doing 701. So that's actually pretty good. Um, and it looks like it's a two tick per second. Could be three. It's kind of hard to tell in real time. 
Um, not bad, not a bad fight. You know, so one one that one thing that's nice about Old Man Logan is if he's gonna do damage, he's gonna do damage to anybody. It seems like now if they're bleed immune, um, well, bring somebody else. <laughs> Because a lot of, I mean, he does have the Furies that really, really helps a lot now. But if they're bleed immune, immune you're not going to get that melting effect towards the end. So, uh, let's see, Daredevil here, um, easy to dodge. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's uh, maybe the critical bleeds again. See if we can get some, some sweet hits. No, nope, we'll just kill him. Ooh, a nine thousand crit on a special one. That's that's not bad at all. Let's just finish him off. Let's go see. Let's go see what the boss is. It's the uh, Symbiote Supreme, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go look. Let's progress here. Yeah, Symbiote Supreme. I, I, to be honest, we gotta read what he does here. I, I can't remember. I've only done a little bit of the uncollected. I, I know I fought him, but um, let's see here. Tap tap. Champion boost. Enhanced energy. Electric fluctuations, power gain, immunity. Oh, immune to bleed. Well, <laughs> oh, EMP and destructive feedback. Okay, so he's uh, un unhurtable for a while, and then he's got the EMP thing, which is just auto damage I can't avoid. This isn't going to end well, but hey, we'll see what we can do. Um, well, getting hit doesn't help either. So right now he's got that yellow shield. You, there's nothing you're going to do to him. Uh, at the very least, I can hit him and try and get some of my own passive bleeds. Alright, try to do some damage here. While he is. Oh, I got 10 shock stacks. Ah, boo. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, unavoidable damage. Um, maybe there is a way. Yeah, there's shock immune champs or champs that reduce the shock, but yeah, Wolverine's not gonna. Or Old Man Logan's not gonna take care of that fight. But Hulk! Hulk should be able to get it done, right? So, this time, um, since I don't have to work up my passive bleeds, we'll just. Uh, Parry him a little bit up here up front. Wait for that yellow shield thing to go away, and let's go. Alright. For a rank 3 Hulk, that's a huge symbiote supreme. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can load up some damage while he's in gray here. No, I'm not gonna get him this round. Uh, let's see... Maybe we can get to a special 2 and try to reel that off while he's... Vulnerable. Ooh. <laughs> I say vulnerable. Now he's got full SP3. Let's st uh, stun. Let's do the beat down. Let's do the beat down. Oh boy. Ooh, he's not throwing it. Alright. Corner pounding and... Ooh. <laughs> uh, that was... That was lucky if anything. He had a, an SP3 ready to go and he just wouldn't unleash it. So, Anyway, so that's a, that's a full quest. Except for the final boss with Old Man Logan. Um, my final thoughts. Uh, he is... He is definitely better. He's a lot better. He can he can put out some nice bleeds. Uh, the critical bleed thing is nice. After they introduced that with like um, Domino, it was nice to see them put it on somebody else. But it's okay. So old man Logan, um, he's sustainable. His regeneration's pretty decent. Um, so yeah, uh, good, better. He's a good side character. He's a good C team player, right? If your other teams are all locked up, um, rank three for sure. Rank four, boy, I don't know. I mean, if you're running out of options or you don't have options, maybe not. Uh, he is an older champ. I think you can use one of the old gems on him that you get from Variant. So, yeah, he'd be on the table. But uh, anyway, um, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I do appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and a like. And I will catch you next time. Bye.